Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint Off-Road again. Wrapping up this 5.4 wagon, came to us from Minnesota. Pretty excited for it. Customers super excited, which always makes us happy. Uh, it's a 2013 E350 5.4. Low mileage rig, I think it's got 30 or 40,000 miles, which is nice and getting harder and harder to find these days. It's got our six inch lift on 35s. So progressive. Uh, 5.4 uh, springs front and rear. Went with the Yokohama XAT and the 35 1250 17 on some Pro Comp wheels. You'll notice the finish is a little different. These wheels um, were actually have been sitting around the shop for a couple of years. They were polished and I just couldn't get rid of them. And inventory has been bad on black wheels. So we sandblasted the polished wheels and then powder coated them in house. Turned out really nice. Single Fox 2.0. Uh, this rig, we were actually able to uh, clean and undercoat the entire body, and then we uh, clean and painted the frame. We can do that on vans if they're clean to begin with. When they're too bad off, it's just you can't really get the finish to look good. So uh, this one was a good candidate, so we did that. Up front, we've got our FB002 front bumper, all aluminum in-house made with Baja Design lights. Worn 12,000 pound winch. It's got our fair lead and a Factor 55 thimble with the front receiver and some worn shackles. Front axle is a stage two Dana 60 with the RSC upgrade, 456 gears, Detroit True Track, big boy brakes, serviceable wheel bearings, all that good stuff. If you haven't watched my axle tech video that I posted earlier this week, please do. I go into more details about uh, a couple versions of our axles that we build here in house. All right, um, Bushwhacker Flares has our side steps build those in-house as well you can see the passenger side's got the two steps on it looks good uh, we took got the uh, rockers uh, coated at line X I'm sorry Rhino we've been using both lately this one has Rhino uh, luminous ladder and our roof rack which also has some Baja design lights on it got one on each side and one on the rear out back got our overload airbags took the stock semi float Dana 60 Re-geared it to 456 with an ox locker. There's another good view of the airbags and the single Fox 2.0 shocks. Full six inch progressive leaf springs. Uh, out back, I can't remember what bumper this had on it before. It might have had this bumper, it might not. Um, we sandblasted a smoothie bumper and powder coated it. Got an aluminous tire carrier with that full size spare. There's the rear reverse uh, reverse light on the rack. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, so this is a 5.4. It's got the 4R75 transmission behind the 5.4. Had that rebuilt uh, and converted to four-wheel drive before we mounted up the NV271 T case. This van also has an S-Pod to control the lights. Nice van. We're gonna get some more mileage on it today and to next week. I've been avoiding it because we just got a little snowstorm, so the roads are covered in that salt um, mess and I really didn't want to get it dirty, especially before my video. But it's gonna happen now, so hopefully I'll get my detail guide next week to give it a quick cleanup before the guy picks it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email, chris at ujointoffroad.com. Uh, also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. I try to post daily shop updates. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you soon.